wanted to do another pregnancy update. I am 35 weeks pregnant and whew, a lot to tell you guys. Not really. Next week I will have a lot, a lot to tell you guys. But for this week, I've just been feeling a lot of pressure. Um, his head, my doctor even noticed his head is below my C-section scar. So, he's ready to rock and roll. He's ready to go. Because <laughs> I'm ready to go. But, um, I don't know how much weight I have gained so far in this pregnancy. Uh, last time, I only gained 8, but now I'm 35 weeks. So, I'll probably gain like maybe 10, 15 pounds the whole pregnancy so far. Um, I've been feeling nauseous, um, and I have been craving like fruits and vegetables and stuff that's good, and I've been wanting to cook more, so we spent a lot on groceries here in the past week, but it's well worth it because I'm stocked on fruits, vegetables, muffins, you name it, I'm stocked. <laughs> um, <clears throat> we just got everything stocked for when he comes into the world so I don't have to go out and grocery shop. I've been in the house for two days straight without going crazy and it's been okay. Um, my back has been hurting a lot. It's been absolutely painful and um, I decided to stop physical therapy only because the stretch they were making me do was not I don't think it was good because they were just taking my legs and pulling them and it was, they're good at what they do, don't get me wrong. But when you're like far along in your pregnancy, you're not going to want to feel like doing none of that. I was so out of breath, I was so out of breath, like you would not believe how out of breath I was. And he... Even, even after, like, I did the physical therapy, it made me feel better, like, five minutes, and then the baby would go back, back to whatever place he was at, and then my legs would still go numb, and yes, my legs are still going numb, um, so is my butt, <laughs> and I'm surprised I'm sitting on the floor right now, <laughs> and, um, it's just been one bumpy road. He has not been kicking. He's been rolling. He has just been rolling all over the place. I don't know how to get him to quit. You know, maybe it's just him. I don't know. But he just feels like he needs to roll all the time. Especially his little feet and my ribs and down to my belly. It just, oh, it hurts. Sometimes he'll kick a rib and I, it's so painful. But it's so worth it. Um, as of right now, I'm still having a C-section. Um, next week, we are doing some testing. We are doing a cervix check. We're checking him, like an ultrasound. And we are also checking my iron again. Hopefully, hopefully my iron is good and everything. We're also checking my thyroid. So hopefully all that tests come back okay, and then I'll be okay to have surgery, and then after surgery I'll be okay, and then a month later I'll be okay. <laughs> Just everything to go smoothly. But I heard, like, if you plan a C-section, it goes smoother than the emergency C-section. So let's hope. With Christian, I had emergency C-section, which I don't want to have. Um, so far he, well, in my little baby tracker, he's five pounds. I feel like he's more. There is a lot of fluid, and I just feel like I'm carrying a truck load. Like, and I've just been getting sick all the time. So I don't know if that's normal at the end of your pregnancy, you get sick, but I've been getting sick. So I don't know if it's normal. And for my back, I'm thinking about getting in the bathtub. Well, it gives me a reason to use my bath bombs, but. I just need to quit hurting. And Christian, I don't know if any of you other parents are experiencing this, but please help me out on this. 
my son has been getting so, so, so clingy. I have no idea why he's been so clingy to me. Like, he has been like, like, when I say clingy, I mean every minute he wants to be in my lap and watch TV. Like, that's all he wants to do, and I'm just like, come on, son, come on, you gotta work with me here. I know he probably senses there's a new baby. I get that. But it's worrying me because I feel like he's looking at me like he's never going to see me again. And I'm scared of death of C-section. I don't want to die. It's just how I feel. Like, I feel like something is just not going to go right. But I'm just going to have to pray and have faith that everything goes completely okay. But it's just how he acts, and I've never experienced that, so any of you guys have experienced that, please let me know, because it is scary. Like, I don't know what is going through his head, and I don't know, like, if he senses that I'm going to be gone or dead or whatever. I don't know. Let me know, because it's awful. But, yep, so far this week has just been crap. But that is it for this week. And it's just been one hell of a week. But now I'm going to go ahead and show you my 35 week belly. Okay. This is with the shirt down. with the shirt up. I feel like he's dropped some. Definitely dropped some. Just, yep, I feel like he's dropped some. But I'm going to go ahead and end this video. It's late. But I will see you guys in my next vlog. Make sure to give a thumbs up and hit subscribe.